I don't know if you've ever been stuck in a cornfield wanting to access your email or maybe a BBS, but I think I might have you covered with this uh, crazy 2001 um, computer. <laughs> I'm going to call it a computer. Um, so this I got on a whim at a Goodwill. Let me set down my tripod here because I'd like to use both hands. So I got this at a Goodwill for whatever it was by the pound. This was at the outlet. And came with some paperwork, and what it is, is a really basic email program. It's a way to send and receive emails, and it comes with a couple other little bells and whistles. So the fun literature that came with are things like how to activate your service and an Earthlink document. I thought that was kind of interesting. A year is $100. And... For someone in 2001 who really didn't want to get a whole computer, wanted to try out this whole internet thing where you can email people from afar, uh, this would have done it for you. Let's see, and one reason I'm out in the sun is because this LCD is not terribly easy to see. Let's see if I can get in here, get a good look at it. Oh, it's like blackness. Darn it. Okay. I was hoping you could see something. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. All right, it's great. Well, I'll probably have to show the rest of this at some other point. I don't even know where I'm at. Let me back up. Customer support. I put, <laughs> put my name in the stupid ass address book. Okay, well, anyway, what a time capsule. There are a bunch of little emails. I won't show them, but um, I'd like to preserve them. There, it's some what appear to be older couple. They're picking up uh, their, I think their daughter from the airport. There was some reunion they were planning. So it's just really kind of cute <laughs> to see what people were using this for in 2001. The thing I really, um, oh, and one thing I actually wish this had on it was there was a TV guide you could get all the listings with. I thought that would have been really cool, really cool usage of this. But the thing I want to use this for is, let's see if I can get this package out, this thing I picked up on Tindy. Now, the thing to keep in mind is this has a Z80 processor. I picked this thing up for... Whatever this is, 36 bucks, huh? Yeah. So I just got the whole shebang with the case and everything, everything you'd need in it. Let's take a closer look. If I can maybe point this down a little further. Actually see what came in here. So here's our case. Looks pretty solid. Looks like uh, some real tight lines on that 3D print. Looks, it feels good, looks good. I guess this is our uh, huzzah feather, feather huzzah. Oh, it is our Wi-Fi. And then, we should have, other little components here. Throw our board. And the adapter. And all the other little stuff. So it shouldn't be too big a soldering job. You know, all those little pins, but not a ton of pieces. So yeah, this, I think, should be a fun little project. There is a tutorial on how to set up the um, <clears throat> well, the terminal programs. I think it's MS Term, I think it's AT stuff. Should be real simple. I don't know if we got a good look at this thing. Did a good job. Looks good. Looks good. So I'll uh, have to update you. I can take a few pictures of what this thing actually looks like or an overlay it or something. 
Uh, I was hoping you would. I was hoping you'd help me out, son. But nothing. All right. Oh man, when our screen saves us a little battery. This is the same set of rechargeable double A's AA, double I put in there initially in well, I don't know how many minutes or whatever it's been up, but it mean, shuts off like that, so I don't think it's been up hours, but I've used this several times already and looked through emails and I haven't gone through the battery yet, so I'll report back on that as well in terms of how long that battery lasts. Um, this thing, there is a way to set up a little rechargeable battery to it, so the idea is to make this totally portable, make this a um, solution, probably tap into my cell phone Wi-Fi, but make this a thing that I could tap into a BBS with just about anywhere that I have a good cell phone connection, as long as I have my batteries charged. So anywho, Wi-Fi mail station, Sidco. God bless the people hacking this thing. I think that's a lot of fun. Someone, um, because it's a Z80 processor, someone did put... Um, they put CPM on it somehow, although it required soldering, so no thanks. Uh, I'm not going to probably solder this thing, not really not really that interested in seeing CPM run on it, but it's cool that someone made it to a proof of concept, and there should be some compatible software out there, so hopefully um, we can keep playing with this thing, and at, very, uh, at the very least, I think it's going to be a rad little BBS machine. I'll let you know how it goes.